Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Kevin, thank you. Well, one thing is certain. Anyone who looks at Draymond Green's scoring is missing his impact. Last season, Green had the most 15-plus assist games in NBA history by a non-guard and he averaged more assists and more rebounds than he did points. And his defense, of course, remains all NBA. Guys? What a unique player. And defense is his calling card for sure. David, thank you. All right, a chance to check out stats for Stephen Curry. And guys, for a measure of how he's performing offensively, look no further than the true shooting percentage. There's been a steady drop in his last five games. He's got to be scrambling now to get that feel back. Now Golden State's starting five. And the old core of this team out there, Curry and Clay, is guards with Draymond at four. Looney out there with Andrew Wiggins. And for Milwaukee. And forward, they have Middleton and Giannis. Holiday out there with Allen. And it's Portis in at the five down low. And Greg People already predicting the MVP for this season. Is it too early to start talking about that? I mean, we have roughly half a season left to play. Yet people love to talk about sports, period. Especially when it comes to the most prestigious individual award out there. It's Anadokounmpo on the wing. He's averaging just around 28 and a half points a game. So many offensive skills in his toolkit. Does such a good job with patience inside as Giannis finds some room strong in the interior. Curry from deep three-point land. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for the Bucks. Portis a screen on Wiggins. Here's Middleton. Here's Giannis. Makes it off the glass. Giannis has got his second basket. Well, statistically, he's a better rebounder at the defensive end, but this time Giannis extending, getting that extra possession and putting it down. Now here's Curry. Hard to imagine, but the stats are tremendous as he averages close to 27 points a game. The Bucks have gone two or three here to start off the game. And Wiggins thrive as a secondary option. Seems that is the role he's best fit for. His efficiency soared. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move 
to the rack and, and where's the help defensively. Yeah APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is inexcusable. And the dunk by Giannis. This is what makes Giannis such an elite player his ability to score in those difficult situations down low with lots of bodies around. And with Wiggins he didn't face the same pressure Greg it was a huge weight off his shoulders. And that mental aspect impacts players. Wiggins was asked to do less and as a result ended up doing more. Here's Middleton after the made shot from Clay Thompson. And it's Middleton penetrating Wiggins with some nice D. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat out miss. The shot by Thompson no good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Passes it to Middleton. Shoots over Curry. The Warriors pull it in. They're getting their first look of the season at the Bucks in this one. From 13. Again the miss by Thompson. For Milwaukee, they've gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Here's Hot to Kumbo. He's off on that one. Wiggins with some nice D. Outside Curry. Thompson outside. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Thompson's got his second basket of the night. Here's Hot to Kumbo. Oh, good on that one. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Here's Giannis. Last game, 26 points. Outside Portis. Out of the Kumbo. Kicks to Portis. Down to five on the shot clock. Goes up on the wing. Allen's shot is off. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Rebound, Milwaukee. Giannis has got his fourth rebound in this one. Wiggins against Middleton. Portis sets the pick for Middleton to end the cold streak. And Looney sends it back. Looney's starting to play a little bit angry right now. And that's helping this defense be more aggressive. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And, and making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. A different look for Milwaukee. Wara checked in. And it's Pat Connington in for Chris Middleton. And then for Golden State, Bielitsa. He checks in for Looney. Kaminga comes in for Draymond Green. And Poole subbed in for Clay Thompson. George Hills checked in for Drew Holiday. Otto Porter Jr., he's checked in for the Warriors. Damian Lee comes in for Stephen Curry. So it's the Bucks now. They trail by one. Six to shoot. Hill passes to Nora. 
From deep. Rebound by Bialica. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up. So maybe just a step too far. Now here's Lee. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Kaminga. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Here's Hill. Outside Portis. And the Bucks miss again. Six second difference between shot and game clock. Poole, the pass to Bialic. Back to Poole. Sinks that one from the post. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Hill deciding where to go with it. Connaughton passes to Portis. Shot to stop the run. And that's two points on the layup. Now, I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, neither did the defenders. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one so far. Warriors ahead. Leading by a point. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And as we know, the great ones make those around them better. That's certainly the case with Giannis Antetokounmpo. I'm a lot more comfortable. Uh, it's because my teammates trust me. My team trusts me to make the right play. And, you know, lately, late uh, in the game, I uh, just try to make the right play. That can be a pass. Uh, that can be a shot. But that's my mindset down the stretch. Hmm, not predetermined. He's reading the defense and then responding accordingly. Well, it, it starts with getting downhill. The, the defense has to build a wall to keep him away from the rim. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Well, the coaches preach ball movement, and, and we saw exactly why in that first quarter. Everybody just feeling the energy of the basketball as they moved it around, and lots of hands were touching it. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Setting the floor for the Bucks at the guard positions. Holiday and DiVincenzo. On to Takumbo out there with Chris Middleton. And it's Connaughton in at the small forward. Holiday against Kerr. Holiday goes in. Wiggins with some nice D. Warriors leading by four. And Holiday just does so much on the floor. But for me, defense is his number one attribute. He, he's arguably the best perimeter defender in the league. There's the lob at the Kumbo. An emphatic LU jam. Yeah, you could throw that pass just about anywhere, even the top of the square for Giannis to go and get. Curry kicks it to Looney. Green taking his time here to the middle. Here's Thompson, and Thompson throws it down. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, well, he settled for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around from outside off the mark. Holiday, an elite defender, Greg, as you said, makes life difficult for opposing guards. And he does a great job of playing D with his feet. Comes up with some blocks and steals each game as well. Never gets lost on a play. Green with the block. And Green plays with tremendous edge on the defensive end of the floor. Holiday against Kirk. They kick it out to Green. On the wing, Wiggins. Good on the triple. And the Warriors lead by seven. And they've done a great job knocking down those long-range shots here in the second, shooting just over 40% from downtown. The leaner inside. And Looney sends it back. And he recovers it. 
We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Curry against Holiday. Thompson outside. Fires for three. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got four assists in the game. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. There's the pick. Middleton with it. Now defended by Wiggins. They get it back. And to Takumbo. Banked in off the glass. Andre Takumbo's got four points this quarter. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And Milwaukee with a whole new lineup now. And some changes here for the Warriors. And every year we see, Greg, some incredible comebacks. What distinguishes, in your mind, those with the resilience to battle back? I think it starts with a belief and desire. And the great ones truly hate to lose. We've got 155 left in the first half. Cool with it. Coming in off a 12-point game, his last outing. Six on the shot clock. Up and in, off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. And it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in that opening quarter, but you can just feel the momentum starting to shift. Portis in the post. He's covered by Bielitsa. Portis the screen. Hill inside. Bielitsa's there. Hill, no good. Warriors leading by eight. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Rodney Hood. That is his first foul of the game. Now, here's Poole. He's guarded by Hill, 13 feet away. Poole, no good. Bucks have gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Just three of nine. Hood setting the pick for Allen, and he drives in. Can't hit from in close. I, I still can't believe that one didn't fall. Here's Kaminga, and another three for Golden State. Well, that's a shot he can hit. If you give it to him, you need a little more energy on defense that next trip down. Shot from 12, and it comes off the front of the rim. Looking at the last game for Milwaukee it was a loss to the Hornets in Charlotte. The pass to Poole. The rebound by the Bucks. Now here is Hill. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Portis. And again, the Bucks miss. Ray Thompson has been leading the charge for the Golden State Warriors. He ends up dropping in two from distance, making a difference from long range in this one.
Thanks for stopping by, y'all. First up on the show tonight, a quick look ahead of some upcoming games on the docket. And that game against the Bulls, what a huge one that'll be. Facing off against the best in the East, two elite teams going at it. Emotions will be riding high, so we're going to see who's poised to win this game. And now, looking at Clay Thompson's contributions in the first half, unbelievable. The defense is geared up to stop him. Looked like he studied film before the game on this one. He put in a lot of work because over and over, he's found ways to get his shot off. That's pretty impressive. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Clay Thompson has been sensational. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. And here's Curry who brings it up for Golden State. And Golden State looking at who they've got. And the old core of this team out there, Curry and Clay, is guards with Draymond at four. Wiggins is out there with Looney. And it's Wiggins missing. Bucks trailed by 11. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, with the addition of Drew Holiday, this Bucks team has gotten even better. Giannis Adentacumpo said, we've got a lot of talent and great players. I really believe in this group. As long as we stay healthy, we'll find a way to compete every night and give ourselves a chance. Guys? David, they're stacked, that's for sure. Thanks. Warriors leading by 11. Poked loose. Thompson inside the line. And good. We got the English that time as it falls. Thompson's got the first basket of the second half. That one for the Warriors. Allen passes to Middleton. Back to Allen. Just five to shoot. Holiday goes in. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got four rebounds in this game. And with Drew Holiday in his defense, Brent, he lets this team get away with things they normally couldn't. Well, Kevin, the one thing that's really great about Drew being able to be switchable in that way is how much more confidence he gives every other defender that's on the floor with him. He takes the toughest guy on offense, and he shuts him down. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Allen with it, picked up by Thompson. Allen surveying the D. Drops in the layup for two. And that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Thompson outside. There's the triple. Rebounded by the Bucks. Portis has got four rebounds now tonight. Portis a screen on Wiggins to the paint. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Green. Oh, he misses the dunk. You have to really like his energy getting to the rim there. Shocked that he blew the dunk, but you know most times he's going to posterize his man. Thompson against Allen. Now here is Holiday. He's tightly guarded. No good on that one. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. Here's Curry. Giannis grabs the miss. Giannis has got rebound number eight now on the night. Pass to Portis. Holiday attacking. Curry with the defensive effort. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Bucks trail by 13. Hanta Takumbo dishes to Holiday. One twenty-seven left to play in the third. 
And the double up on to Dekumbo. Shoots the three. Again, Holiday missing. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. Curry against Holiday. Pass to Thompson. Jacks up a three. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his sixth assist on the night. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Passes it to Allen. Outside Holiday. Middleton on the wing. Covered by Wiggins. From eight. Middleton can't get it to go. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Green finds Curry. Green with the ball. And the shot goes down. Just Draymond's overall strength on the inside to get in there and find his way to a tough basket in the paint. Portis sets the pick for Holiday. Green with the rebound. Green's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Well, whether the shots are wide open or contested, he is just having no luck right now, guys, with anything. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. We'll return shortly. And now in our assist of the game, brought to you by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. So with Holiday sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. We've got Rodney Hood, Dante DiVincenzo. He's out there with Adetokounmpo, and it's Connaughton in at the shooting guard position. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. Now, here's Poole, defended by DiVincenzo. Kaminga with a wide-open look. Off target from three-point range. Connaughton passes to the ice. And out of the Kumbo with the jam. Well, sometimes as an analyst, you love to talk about strategies to slow down a guy who's got it going. With Giannis, I don't, I don't really have it. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. The shot by Thompson, no good. Bucks trail by 14. Connington kicks to Ada Kumbo. Here's the pass to Hood. Here's Norrell. Screen by Ada Kumbo. Warriors with the rebound. Violets has got his fourth rebound in this one. And Kaminga throws it down. Good anticipation there from Iguodala, who is a very good passer. The Bucks have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Pass to Giannis. Put up top. Parted by Poole. There's the lob into the Kumbo. It's stolen by Kaminga. A drive by Iguodala. Over Hood. Iguodala. No good. Anacumbo kicks to DiVincenzo. The tray. That one misses. And Golden State will come the other way. Iguodala, the pass to Poole. Back to Iguodala. Golden State moving it around. Inside, it's Bialica, and the rejection by Adekumbo. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. 
And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. What a tremendous showing from the three-pointer all through this game. They have not wasted any time here tonight. They've pushed it whenever they've had the opportunity and have gotten a lot of fast break points out of it. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And the Bucks making a change here. Matthews has checked in. Then for the Warriors, Raymond Green comes in for Bialitsa. And Porter subbed in for Kaminga. And he can't hit the second. Well, Draymond Green holding everybody accountable. We've seen this before. Poole, the pass to Green. Porter looking it over. He feeds it to Thompson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Ashley Matthews picks one up. And so often, Draymond Green is called the heart of this team. Well, he's been such a great leader since his time at Michigan State. He's out there barking directions to his offensive players. He's out there barking defensive assignments. He's barking at his coach. It just the list goes on. But that energy is infectious and helps lead his team to greater heights. That free throw good from Thompson. It's a lot of work to get back for any NBA season. But Clay Thompson battling over the past couple years some very scary injuries and it shows you what kind of commitment he has to the game. Portis he's checked in for Milwaukee. Holiday comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. Golden State also making some changes. Kevon Looney is checked in for Iguodala. And it's Stephen Curry in for Jordan Poole. And so Thompson nails both of them. Well, something, Greg, we can't take for granted. It's nice just to see Klay Thompson out on the floor. No doubt, Kevin. And you know, the NBA is just a better league with a healthy Klay Thompson. Makes this team more fun to watch. Good for humor and one incredible performance a year. No one near Curry as he lets it go. And the Warriors miss again. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. To the inside. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Green. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Down low. And Thompson kicks to Green. Shot clock at six. Three-pointer. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Bucks. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Warriors. It was like watching a three-point shooting contest tonight here. And they just didn't seem to let up, whether the last several shots went down or not. Three after three, it just seemed to pay off for them. And so taking a look at their season record, this will be win number 31 on the year. And once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Klay Thompson. It looked like a couple times they might be wearing him down, but not the case. At the offensive end, he was just devastating. And some changes here for the Bucks. Wara checked in. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Pat Connaughton. Then for the Warriors, Bielitsa. He checks in for Kavon Looney. Iguodala comes in for Draymond Green. And it's Damian Lee in for Clay Thompson. Iguodala with the steal. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Bielitsa. Back to Iguodala. Outside, Porter. To the paint. Here's Curry. Rebounded by the Bucks. And here is Ante Dekumbo. Six 
So we see the Warriors taking the game here. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road.